Hello everybody, this is Minecraft here, and today I'm filming my fourth episode of Minecraft Waterworld Survival. In today's episode, hopefully we're going to find some iron to build up, uh, to make a bucket so that we can make a mob grinder. And one thing that I forgot to mention is that, uh, hopefully now that we have a new base, what I'm going to now do is I'm probably going to... Um, move most of the things that we have in that base down there and in fact you can see my base from over there you can see the furnace there you can see the chest there that's my previous base and hopefully we're gonna move all of our things from the chests over there to the chests over here um, I now have two uh, black wool blocks so hopefully in the next village that we explore we can find more lamp posts and that way we can make a bed so we can save our spawn point. And unfortunately, if we die in my in this version of Minecraft, I mean, currently if we die, we're going to respawn back at the bottom of the ocean, and that's going to suck very, very much. And because of that, we should try our best not to die during our passage. This will be quite difficult. Let's hope that we have a safe journey, because if we do die, we're going to lose a lot of things, including these 48 blocks of oak wood. And it's just going to be very tragic if we do die, so hopefully let's just uh, hope that we're going to stay safe. And now we're going to embark on the journey to the next village so we can get more wool and so that we can get more iron. So now let's just get into our boat right here. I remember that there there uh, is some type of um, village over there. I just don't remember where it is. And it's really nice to have these oceans at the same time. They're um, a pain because they're very difficult to cross and because it's hard to breathe inside them. But at the same time, these villages are actually nice because, I mean, not villages, but um, I mean, this ocean is very nice because um, considering that we are swimming on a boat and we are going very fast right now. Now, if I pull up my F3 menu, you can see we're going very quickly. And as you can see from here, we can see both two villages and our base. So. Um, at the same time, it's cool having all of these villages around by our base, but at the same time, it is not very good because that way it's going to be difficult to make villager breeders in the future, and our, um, mob grinder rates will be, um, a bit less considering that some of the mob spawns will go in here, so. Let's see. So, let me just dismount from my boat right here. Uh, shift L, yep. Now, I would, I would usually... Uh, just take my boat and then go all the way just I, I sometimes take my boat and then put my boat back down there But I'm kind of scared that I'm gonna die right now So I'm just gonna go the safe route and just simply descend like I usually do actually another thing What I should do is I should probably instead of just going down at any location. I should probably just check if this village has some um, check if it has a blacksmith now is that a blacksmith nope that's not that doesn't look like a blacksmith to me. Uh, now let's hope that this does have a blacksmith because, oh, this this does have a church, so there's a church down there. Uh, so what's that thing right there? Oh, is that, um, oh, that's the well. Yeah, that's, that's the well. So there is quite a high chance that there is no, um, blacksmith down there. And I think it's much easier to check from the top right here rather than checking from the bottom over there because that way if there is no blacksmith down there, we're not going to go down there. Actually, we are going to go down there because there's a block of wool down there. So hopefully we're going to go down and grab that block of wool and then after that we're going to just grab the wool, craft a bed. Uh, we're just going to go and then we're just going to make a bed and we're going to save our spawn point at our base. So, And wow, or the sound of the rain already ended and yet we could we can still see the drops going downwards well that's weird if there is not enough water in this world it still rains a lot i think that the reason it rains so much in this uh world is that it's technically a plains biome as you can see right here and for some reason it resumes once more it seems like if there's no blocks for the water to hit then the then the water will not make any noise which is quite interesting so let's just go down here and then just mine that all out and it's going to decrease the area, oh, there we go, we got the black wool, now we just let's breathe a bit here, and then we should get going just because I don't want to waste a lot of time, and also just because I want to get back in my boat so that I can save my spawn point so that uh, if we die or something like that happens, uh, it's going to be safe. 
And also, the well is a nice place to go up, considering that if I fall right now, I will mostly, most likely not die, because if I fall down in the middle there, there's water blocks to catch my fall, and there's also some there's also water right here so that's gonna break my fall as well if i fall down there so but i'm i'm definitely not going to fall down that's that's for sure uh, i'm i'm very careful when i'm going up here especially when i know that if i die i'm going to respawn in at the bottom of the ocean where i'm going to have a very hard time getting out of so yeah and it's very interesting to see how the water from time to i mean the rain from time to time you can either hear the rain sometimes you can't hear the rain it's very interesting so let's just go back to our um, boat over there, let's grab our boat from here, and then let's just go back to our base. So let's just get inside our boat, and I remember our base being somewhere right there, we should be able to reach it in a few seconds, if not, um, yep, there we go. And the boat is a very efficient mode of transportation, I'll prob this will probably be my primary mode of transportation, other than walking. I mean, I will only walk on solid surfaces. Um, I'm only gonna walk around in villages, possibly uh, underwater, and then even then I'm just gonna swim from building to building and walk even less. So I'll probably swim more than I'll walk, which is quite interesting. I'm definitely going to get some rails sometime, so hopefully we could get that going. I'll just stop our boat a bit there we go let's just get out of it let's hope it doesn't break over the barrier there we go let's see if it's nice and now we finally got three blocks of wool but another issue is that our uh, we have another block of wool the other two blocks of wool that we have are actually down there in our other base so what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to go down to our other base and then we're going to have to get the wool from there so yeah I actually don't know. I actually don't know. Another way, what might be faster, is that if we take our boat, and then we take our boat to the village over there, and then we use our boat just so we jump down, and then we have the water underneath there break our fall. That might be faster, but I won't risk it because there's some sort of chance. Wow, I can hear the, I can hear the rain from here. That's weird. Um, and yeah, that, I don't want to risk it just because I don't want to die. Uh, my whole, like, um... And there we go, I have 10 slime balls right here and a ton of uh, cobblestone, even though I have a lot of cobblestone with me right now, so that's just really great. We're going to use that to build up our base, including our mop grinder and all that great stuff. Let me just take those slime balls. Um, so like I said, um, one of my main priorities uh, currently right now as we're speaking is trying to not die, and I do this by... Um, by avoiding pretty much all danger that I can. But right now, considering that we're going to get our bed, that's not going to be as much of a priority for me because we're going we're gonna be able to uh, respawn. And I am playing on hard mode, if anybody is asking. And I would not be able to play this on hardcore mode because just to get out of the water, I had to drown many times. So playing in a hardcore mode, I probably wouldn't have been even able to get out at all. So as you can see, we combine all of our all of our uh, wool. So now we have this much wool, let's just put that together, and there we go, we finally have a bed. So now what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to, uh, let's see, I'm going to collect my most prized, my most um, useful, actually I think I'm just going to leave most of the stuff in the chest. Um, well, on the other hand, what I can do, I'm probably going to collect a lot of the things that are in this chest, I'm probably going to collect... Um, my iron, uh, iron leggings, my gold ingots, the oak saplings, um, let's see, well, I don't, I don't really need the rail, I could, I could use crafting table, uh, let's just collect the slime balls, um, let's see, do we have any dirt with us, let's just grab a few dirt, and what should we put for our last inventory spot, let's see, oh, we'll just grab some potatoes, considering that we don't have potatoes with us, and what we're going to do now is we're going to go up to our base over there. And of course to do that we go underground and then let's see, we don't have anything in here. Uh, and, to, and we do that by just going up there. And another thing that I was thinking is that I should probably actually... Um, now unfortunately I'll have to craft more chests. I'll just leave this chest here even though it's empty. I'll, I'll need the chest someday. And while we already have some slimes climbing up, let's see how high it's going to... Uh, be able to climb up. I'm actually kind of worried, not not really as much worried, but concerned 
And I'm interested that what might happen is that what happens if the slimes are able to climb up the stairs and then I'll see slimes running around in my base. That would be pretty, pretty cool. Let's see if this little guy makes it up there. So, well, currently he's holding up pretty well. And then we might have some slimes running around on our base, despite it being at like Y105 high, which is practically, which is the height at which slimes cannot spawn in Minecraft because they spawn something like below Y33 or something. I already forgot. I don't remember. But anyway, let's see. Maybe I might have to add a trap door here just to prevent slimes from going up here. Yeah, I don't really like slimes being here, so let's just kill this guy off. Oh wow, it's a nice sun thunderstorm there. Let's see. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to craft, um... I'm going to craft, uh... A double chest, so let's see. There we go, nice. Let's just throw the potatoes out for now. Uh, now this will be our general chest. Now we're going to, inside here, our uh, general chest is going to be just the area where we plop just general things down. Oh yeah, I forgot, we have to, uh, I'm going to sleep right now. So let's see, where could we place our bed in a location that would be easy to access? Wow, this thunderstorm's pretty serious. Let's see what we can do about it. I'm really not sure where I'm going to place my bed. I actually think that I would not be too bad of an idea to place my bed somewhere right here. Yeah, that, there we go. Let's just and now we can finally sleep well, knowing that if we if we die or anything happens, our spawn point will be around here. So this is going to be my general chest right here. Oh, finally that stopped. Uh, so let's see, let's just convert a bunch of this uh, wood into uh, planks, and then let's just uh, make some uh, more chests. I'll put a bit too much there, let's see. There we go, might as well make five chests, or you know, let's just go through to uh, six chests, that would be even better, just for an even number, so we have uh, several double chests, there we go, so we have six chests, oh, I forgot to grab that over there so um let's see so i'm gonna have some chests right over here then i'm gonna have some chests right over here i'm gonna have some chests right over here uh and this is pretty much gonna be my base here and down here i'm gonna place some carpets it's gonna look nice and it's gonna be awesome so yeah so now let's see this is going to be our um should really craft some signs that way it's not really easy to see which chest is designed for what. Let's just craft two more double chests right here just so we could put it right here. Now I don't know if this passage is too thin, maybe I should widen it a bit, but um, I don't know, that's gonna be pretty much my base over here. Uh, let's see. So right here will be our... Um, this is probably going to be our uh, general chest, so that's going to have... Actually, this is going to be our agriculture chest, so let's see. So right here, I'm going to place some potatoes right here, some carrots right here. Uh, well, not all the carrots. We're going to place our oak saplings right over here. Uh, now, this is this is going to be our uh, most prized possessions chest, so or like loot chest. So this is just going to be a general chest in which we could put some things into. Um, now, somewhere right here, I might have my uh, cobblestone chest where I put all of my cobblestone in here. Uh, right here, I might have uh, a, a glass, a sand, and um, a dirt chest. So that's all going to be merged in here. Uh, now, I might have some signs somewhere like... I might have a sign somewhere like right here on this crafting table. I might have a sign like right here on this furnace somewhere. I might have a sign somewhere like say right here maybe. Um, I don't know. So let's see. Uh, right here I'm probably going to have another chest standing here that's going to have uh, a bunch of wood in it. So let's see. Let's just reorganize our torches right here. So let's see, so now I'm going to craft um, another double chest right here. 
Oh, unfortunately, we're going to have to uh, craft some more wood planks over here. So, let me see. Let me just uh, get that going. So, let's just plop down some chests right over here. Uh, now, let's see. So, this is going to be our kind of block chest section. So, this is going to have all our cobblestone. It's going to have all of our sand, our glass, all of those products like this, like, like that, uh, such as dirt, uh, sand, glass. Right here, we're going to have our wood products chest. So, we're probably going to have our wooden door right there, some uh, oak wood planks. Well, probably not that. Uh, let's see. I want to have... So let's see, if I'm standing at this corner right here, can I access all these chests? Because pretty much the main goal for these chests is to be very well accessible. And to do that, I must be able to reach a bunch of these chests at once. Now, if you have been following up on my uh, Minecraft Vanilla Super Flat Survival Let's Play, you probably remember that I have a very, very large house in my base, and I have to run around from chest to chest, and it's very annoying. I don't like running around from chest to chest. And in this last play, I have made the um, decision to basically have chests easily accessible. I mean, hey, this doesn't really look like a base. It doesn't really look too good, but, uh, I mean, at least it serves its purpose. I have my bed here. I'm going to put some carpets around here once I get my mob grinder going and all the wool, so... Uh, now, yeah, unfortunately, in this episode, we weren't able to get iron. Now, if that village over there did have a blacksmith, then we... Probably would have uh, gotten iron, maybe, maybe would have gotten some iron. But another thing that is kind of discouraging is that even if there is a blacksmith in a village, it might not have iron. And even if there is a blacksmith in a village and it has iron, it might not have enough iron. Because uh, I read on the Wikipedia that it can spawn in stacks of 1 to 6, so that means that... Um, there might be one or two iron in the blacksmith's chest, and that just won't be enough to make a bucket, so. It might be kind of difficult to get uh, iron. Uh, uh, it might be difficult to get enough iron for a bucket, and then getting a bucket might be kind of difficult, but uh, hopefully we're going to do that. I mean, it was quite difficult trying to get out from our spawn right over there, and I'm not going to deconstruct, I'm not going to do anything there. I might pro possibly make some kind of under um, underground passage or something to the area over there, but I'm probably not going to um, destroy anything there. That's going to be kind of a historical site for me, considering this is where our original spawn is. It's going to look nice, and every time I walk out here, I'm going to look at that pillar and remember our humble beginnings in this uh, unforgiving sea and this endless expansion of 90 block deep nothingness. Well, and just the occasional village, the occasional mineshaft. And of course, eventually, my end goal for this Let's Play would be possibly going to the end and killing the Ender Dragon. And the reason for that is because there are... Uh, I I added into the preset, into the super flat preset, I added the uh, Stronghold command, so that... So, uh, the, the, uh, the stronghold line, so what that's going to do is that is going to spawn three strongholds in this world. So, uh, we might uh, start farming some ender, um, endermen, and then we might get some ender eyes. We're going to craft that together with blazes, and then we're going to find, uh, we're going to find a stronghold just by throwing, uh, eyes of ender from, um, from our boat right there, so that's what we're going to do. And another thing that I'm planning to do is I'm possibly planning to go to the nether. Obviously, I'm going to go to the nether before I go to the end. Uh, but one thing that I might plan to do after I kill the ender dragon might be to possibly kill the wither and possibly get some type of, uh, get a beacon up here. So, But of course, that's very late game things. And... It's interesting to talk about it, but honestly, when we still don't even have iron, or we even still don't have a bucket, so I don't think we're going to be going to the nether anytime soon. But anyway, thank you for watching. This is Minecraft, and uh, see you all in the next episode. Please subscribe, rate, and comment.